Hello everyone, my name is Chibra Bhati. I am a PG graduate of Manomonium Sudan University. Over the past 15 years, I have gained diverse work and education fields. And I worked at St. Joseph Metric Higher Secondary School for 15 years where I had the opportunity to teach mathematics both state board and metric syllabus for 6 standard to 12 standard students. Given my active involvement in the mathematics department during my time in school and I was thrilled to utilize some of the training as a curriculum developer for mathematics. Later on, I made a transition to working in a school where I taught 11th and 12th standard for 15 years I am genuinely expertise to bring my medical grade skill and subject expertise to you and this website. And I have the privilege of getting a new group of students and an online platform. I have a passion for guiding and mentoring students to help them to reach their potential through this online platform. Okay, let's we move to the class. Now we are going to start the second lesson, complex number from 12th standard. First of all, we have to know what is complex number. The childhood we studied natural numbers. Natural number starts from 1 to 3, so 1, isn't it? Then next one, whole numbers. Whole number starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, so 1. So natural number is belongs to this whole numbers. Natural number number part chirpo 1 and 2 divided irukom. Whole number is equal to 0 le start aayi. It's all on infinity le po. Ipidi infinity varakim po irukom. The next one. Indigers. Indigers normally denoted by the alphabet Z. Minus infinity let's start planning minus two minus one zero one two so one infinity if you point here go in indices the next one is rational numbers rational number is nothing but a fraction rational number is denoted as q otherwise we can say it's a fractional number Otherwise, we can say it's a decimal. Already we know that P by Q form where Q is not equal to 0. These are all rational numbers like this. Uh, we can take an example 2 by 3. Otherwise, minus 4 by 5 and so on. Otherwise, 0 0.16, uh, the 0, 9.99. Like these kind of numbers is known as rational numbers. Then... Then the number, this is irrational numbers. Irrational number is a non-terminating decimal. But decimal, this is at least it will end up up to like that, 9, 8, 7, like this. This is non-terminating decimal. It's moving on, it's going on. Uh, we can take a root 1. Uh, root 1 is nothing but 1. So it will move to this uh, root 2 root 2 there's no end for that number the uh, number is 1.414 so on like that we studied isn't it the next one root 3 1.732 it's relevant to the number of 1.732 and it's going on there's no end for this number so far then root 4 is belongs here because root 4 is nothing but 2 that is in the category the next one root 5 root 6 will be here like this kind of numbers we couldn't take out from the square root that number is known as irrational numbers okay ma? now all the combined of this rational irrational number is known as real numbers we cross this in 11 standard r now okay now we all studied the root uh, root inside these numbers then more than that in uh, here we are having the number is belongs uh, the root inside we are having positive numbers suppose inside the 
root if we get the negative number root of minus 2 root of minus 13 like these kind of number is known as complex numbers therefore complex number is a number which belongs to root of minus 1 is known as i so this is of the form a plus ib where a is a real number and b also a real number but a combined with i i kuda varra i kuda join i varra ivangala nama enna solluvona imaginary part a a kuda varavangala real part it's a real number number ah paaka a b a real number but part even here even here in this is a real part and this one is imaginary part